photo. Late last night, Mac opens my cage. The full moon falls on his sagging shoulders. He seems small somehow. Bob, instantly alert, leaps off my stomach and dies under not tag. Psst, don't bother hiding, dog, Mac says. I already know you sleep here. Mac settles onto my tire swing. Might as well stay one more night. Your buddy is leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow? My stomach drops. I'm not ready. I need more time. I haven't said my goodbyes. I haven't thought this through. Mac pulls a small photo out of his shirt pocket. It's me when I was young. Mac and I are in front, in the front seat of his convertible. I'm wearing a baseball cap and eating an ice cream cone. I was a handsome lad, but I have to admit I look ridiculous. Nothing like a real gorilla. Ho <laughs> ho, we had some laughs, didn't we, big guy? Mac says. Remember when we went on that roller coaster? Or that time I tried to teach you to play basketball? Mac shakes his head, chuckling. You had a lousy jump shot. <sighs> he stands and sighs, looks around. He puts the photo back in his pocket. I'm going to miss you, Ivan, he says, and then he leaves. He does not look back. Leaving. Early in the morning, Maya arrives with many other humans. Some have white coats, some have rustling papers. They're hushed, busy, determined. Wow. Ruby enters her box first. I'm scared, Ivan, she calls from inside her box. I don't want to leave you. A part of me doesn't want her to leave me either. But I know I can't tell her that. Think of all the amazing stories you can share with your new family, I say. Ruby falls silent. <laughs> I'll tell them your elephant joke, she says after a long pause. The one about the refrigerator. I bet they'd like that. And be sure to tell them about Bob and Julia and me. <coughs> I clear my throat. And Stella. I'll remember everyone, Ruby says, especially you. But before I can say any more, they roll her cage out to a waiting truck. <laughs> it's my turn. Bob is hiding in a corner beneath my pool. The humans don't even notice him. While they're busy making sure my box is ready, Bob sneaks over. He licks my chin just in case there are any leftovers. You, I whisper, are the one and only Bob. I reach for Not Tag. She is a limp rag without her stuffing. Dribbles of paint cover her fur. I hold her out to Bob. He tilts his head confused. To help you sleep, I say. Bob takes her away in his teeth and slips away. Aw, you guys, I'm crying. This is sad. Good boy. Good boy, Ivan, good boy, Maya says when I lumber into my box. I hear the clicker and I'm rewarded with a tiny marshmallow. When I'm settled, Maya gives me a sweet drink that tastes like mangoes and something bitter. Oh, my eyelids grow heavy. I want to see what happens next, but I'm so sleepy, so sleepy. I dream I'm with Tag and we're swinging from vines while Stella watches. The sun slices through the thick ceiling of trees and the breeze tastes like sweet fruit. Moving. My eyes flutter open. The box is moving. 
I am in the grumbling belly of some great beast. I fall back asleep. Awakening. I awake to glass and steel. It's a new cage, not unlike my old cage, except it's much cleaner. Maya's here and other humans I recognize. Hey there, Ivan, Maya says. He's coming too, guys. I have three walls of glass. The fourth wall is a curtain of wooden slats strung together. This doesn't look like the zoos on TV. Where are the other animals? Where are the gorillas? Is this where Ruby ended up in a cage just like her old cage still alone? Is she cold? Is she hungry or sad? Is there anyone there to tell her stories when she can't go to sleep? <laughs> Missing. I miss my old cozy cage. I miss my art. But most of all, I miss Bob. My belly's cold without him. Food. The food is fine here. No soda, though, or cotton candy. Mm. Not famous. I have no visitors here. No sticky-fingered children or wary parents. Only Maya and her humans come with their soothing voices and soft hands. I wonder if I've stopped being famous. Something in the air. Endless days pass, and then I notice something. A change. I don't know what it is, but I taste and smell it in the air like far off rain clouds gathering. <laughs>